Now we're given then the probability density function f of x and we've got to sketch it. So to sketch something like this, just have our f of x and our x-axis here. Let's just mark those on. And then what I've got is that it goes between 1 and 5, so we'll have 1 there and 5 here. And what I notice is that if you were to expand this, you're going to get x times minus x as the highest power, which is going to be minus x squared, a negative x squared graph, which is going to be a parabola, but this way round, okay? N shape, some people call it. And because parabolas have a line of symmetry straight down through the vertex, then that line of symmetry must be halfway between the 1 and the 5. In other words, just add those two values together. 5 and 1 is 6, divide by 2, and you get 3. So 3 is going to be the place where the vertex is. Okay, so let's just sketch that in. I'm going to come up like this, up to the vertex at 3, and then drop back down to the 5. Okay? And we're told that it's zero otherwise, so I would want to do that. Okay, well that's the probability density function sketched. And then in the next part, it says write down the mean mu of x. Well, as I was saying, when you've got a probability density function, which is symmetrical, which this one is, it's symmetrical about the point three. Okay, if we put that down there then you can expect that to be your mean. So the mean, okay, let's just write it in, the mean mu equals 3. All right. It's also worth mentioning, by the way, not that we're asked, but uh, you might need this for other questions. The mode in this example would also be 3. It's the highest point. And also by the symmetry of our probability density function, 3 is going to be the median. 50% of the values lie below it and 50% lie above it. Anyway, we were asked for the mean mu and there it is. It equals 3 just by the symmetry.